how much protein is enough? That's what we're here to answer with Dr. Heidinger at Atlantic Health Systems, home of Atlantic Sports Health. Doc, I think our society is crazed with protein. A lot of the athletes and, and fitness enthusiasts and weight loss, protein, 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 carbs have become this evil thing. And we, we just had a bunch of segments. We talked about the importance of carbs. Um, talk to us about protein. How much is enough? And, and what, what's going on with this whole protein thing? So look, protein is vital, right, for making sure there is adequate muscle recovery and growth. The recommendations range from about 1.2 to 2 grams per kilogram of body weight, which for us is going to be about a half gram to a gram per pound of body weight, which is quite a lot of protein. And again, that's going to vary depending on the sport as well. For bodybuilders or extreme heavy weightlifters, you might be creeping more towards that 2, 2.5 yeah. per kilogram of body weight. Um, but I think outside of the total amount of protein you need is making sure you're timing it appropriately. If you're eating 50 grams at one time, your body's not going to be able to absorb all that. You're, you're going to overload your body's ability to absorb individual amino acids. So trying to aim for that 25 grams to 30 grams of protein at a time is going to be optimal for actual absorption and use of the actual protein. I think you made a lot of good points. I think looking at it in pounds, right? So anywhere from a half a gram, anywhere from one half of a gram to a gram per pound of body weight, right? So if you're 150 pounds, you're looking somewhere about 100 grams of protein, maybe 150 if you're, you know, lifting and doing a lot of strength training and you want to build more lean lean tissue. You don't need much more than that because it's it's a toll on the on the digestive system, right? The the the, the kidneys, all these things that that, that help process uh, food and 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 metabolize our our nutrients. So that's really important. And eating so much protein, like you said, 20 to 25 grams at a setting, those are really some important basic guidelines that athletes, I think all fitness and people have to follow, you know, even, even your general individual. 100%. I think part of the problem, well, one of the issues too, is that there's this kind of thought that endurance athletes maybe don't need as much protein, but think about all that wear and tear you're putting on your body. Yeah. When you're moving for an hour, two hours at a time, that's so much stress in that muscle tissue. You still need a good amount of protein to refuel. Yep. So just make good focus. So quality sources of protein spread throughout throughout the day, twenty to twenty five grams. Really important to follow. And if you do that, your your body's going to utilize m most of it, the majority of that protein, and, and take advantage of it. Right. And if you're not eating enough carbohydrate with that protein, if you're really focusing on that protein, your body's going to use that protein for an energy source rather than for refueling the muscles. So again. Cannot focus enough on the carbohydrate aspect. Of it. And doesn't having the right amount of carbs, the right timing or carbs with protein help synthesize the protein to, yeah. to uh, create an anabolic effect to, to help build up? 100% with absorption of all Absorption, that, right? Yep. Uh, it's extremely important. So if you're just doing a protein shake with water, you know, it's, it's not optimal. Yeah. Right? So getting in some kind of carb source with it, eat a banana with it or something so that you get something in with that person. So, so it, it can, it's a, a transport to help transport those amino acids, right? Get it in the muscle. Yeah, 100%. to get it in the muscle so it can start to, you know, build back up. 100%. Yeah, important. Yeah.